In this video we are going to look at how to catch Alejandro Magno, the legendary brown trout in Spain. And if you enjoy this video, if it helps you in any way catch Alejandro, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be making more content for Call of the Wild, the Angler. As you can see, I'm in the handbook. Let's take a look at Alejandro's traits. He is a jumper. He likes to jump out of the water. In my experience, I've seen him much, much more commonly on the surface. You see his fin, you'll see him break water, see him swim by your boat, or very often come right by your boat. Not so much jumping, but certainly visible. So this is one that you want to watch for visibly. And then eagle-eyed trait. He likes things that are twitching and he won't be interested, and it's very common for Magno to ignore your lures. It can be a little frustrating at times. Let's look at what he likes for bait preferences. Spoon spinner dough, uh, but because of the twitching, I tend to use frog most commonly or popper to catch them quickly. You can certainly catch him on all of those things if you want to be patient or otherwise it wouldn't be in the handbook. So let's take a look at the gear that I'm going to use here. And for purposes of the video, I'm going to catch him on the strongest bait caster I have. It is available for purchase in the regular tackle shop. So you definitely do not need to level up for this one. I think Magno is probably the second or third easiest in the game, Legend. So not too bad of a fight on 55 pounds. So uh, pair that with the Mediator 44 pound. And you're going to want to use 55 pound braided. And I like to use 2 aught frog for this one. So Magno's range is 2 to 4 aught. So you can use anything in that 2 to 4 aught range. So the first thing you need to know with the legendary is where do you go? Because legendaries are only in one place per week. They reset on Wednesday nights at 10 o'clock Eastern in the U.S., and myself and many others go out to search starting at 10 o'clock. And when we find them, they are always posted in the official Angler Discord trophy gallery. So each week, and I've been doing this for quite a long time now, I'll post a Legends Plus Tips post where all of the locations are shown after they've been caught. And I give my tips for how to catch them similar to what you'll hear in this video. And then I also answer questions to folks who get stuck. So by all means, uh, look in there. If you're not in the official Angler Discord, I'll put the link in the description and strongly encourage you to join. There's a great community and a ton of help, a ton of resources, things like hook charts and locations for diamonds and all kinds of great content. So because Alejandro Magno is often visible the first thing I do is I look around for his fin to be breaking the water a lot of times I can see him on the surface but this time I do not so I'm gonna long cast make sure to twist and keep my eyes open I like to do this like a clock so we're starting at 12 o'clock make sure you're twitching because it's critical for Magno. So some other things to think about while we're watching. I'm in single player just to make it simple so there's no one else here. But when you're in multiplayer there's often a lot of boats around. So where your Magno is is not necessarily where someone else's Magno is. Everyone has their own unique fish and they may or may not be in the same area. So didn't get them on that. I'm going to go backwards just for fun and go to 11 o'clock. So point of that is don't drive right up on somebody else's boat. It's very annoying if they catch them uh, because it, it doesn't help you in any way. It doesn't mean that your fish is in that area. So there he is. I thought I saw him popping out. That's why I picked 11. It looked like there might have been a fin in the distance, but I wasn't sure. 
but we'll pull him in pretty quick. He is the only thing you're going to catch on to, Ock. So some other things that you can do while I'm pulling in, if that doesn't work, uh, it almost always does with Magno. So you want to uh, to just stick around here, but you can move around the area. You want to cast all the way around your boat. Um, if you get all the way around your boat, you don't see them, you don't catch them, then move your boat, say, 100 feet. Uh, after a couple of times, just swap out and try a new server. I like to pick either morning or day for visibility purposes for Magno. And uh, he's usually a pretty quick catch, as you just saw, two casts. Not always going to be that quick, but got pretty lucky. Again, you'll often see him better than I did in that spot. I just thought I saw the fin pop out over there and cast it over there. And it turned out I was right. I have caught him down to a 22 pound line. I found on 19 that uh, he was pretty tough. That 19 pound gear is not the best. And he spooled me a couple of times before I went to the 22. So as long as you got 22 and up, should be a very, very reasonable fight. Give him a little brute force. Gotten him in six seconds. Sometimes you catch him right by the boat. This particular time I've gotten him a little, a little further away. You want to work the drag up and down. Don't let it stay in the hot red too long. And here he comes. You see him coming to the surface. And we'll secure him. Trophy shot, look at the great big brown trout. That's really all there is to catch it, Magno. Remember to leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel. Happy fishing. Have a good one.